You just kind of rip on Steve all day today. No, I'm just, I think it's f***ing cool. I just... <laughs> okay. Nothing. Uh, he's he's, he's, <laughs> he's talking your kicks, bro. I'm not s talking your kicks. They're meant to make people mad. He bought them that way. <laughs> <laughs> they poke. <laughs> if those shoes were tires, they'd be like 205, <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? We are on the next episode of From the Gallery, where we take things, everything very, very seriously here. And I am here with... Dakota. And Gels. You sounded very angry. I was being very serious about everything here. Okay, okay I'm done with that now, that's too weird. <laughs> and if you guys are wondering, we are reviewing your car. So when you add your car to our gallery at fitmentindustries.com forward slash add, we will actually review it. You just have to send us a link to your completed gallery ad at shop at fitmentindustries.com with the subject line, review my car please. And then we'll put it in this series. And then you guys let us know what you think about our ratings in the comment section below. And if you haven't added your car to the gallery, just do it. Wow. First car is a Wisconsin local. We have hey. Matt's 2005 Subaru WRX STI on some Desmond Regamasters, 18 by 10 and a half plus 18, Federal 595 on stance suspension coilovers. So he is static. Yes. Wow. Dang. And we are looking at negative three and a half degrees of camber all around. We have short and strut bodies, 14K front, 12K rear Swift Springs. Swift, good brand and custom powder coated front camber plates, camber bolts, all the, the camber stuff you need. But he also has some other stuff. He's got a built short block at 60,000 miles, E85 tune. He's got a VF48 turbo, turbo access front mount intercooler, regulator, shaved engine bay, fuse box relocation, washer delete, battery relocation, shaved intake manifold. Holy shit. Yes, this car, everything about it is perfect. The engine bay is super clean too because he did all the tucking to it recently. Um, I love the wheels on it. The stance is freaking perfect. If you want a static slam car, like this is all I think about right away when I see it. Um, I can't say anything bad about it, honestly. I can't think of one thing I would even do to it. I love the simplicity of it, yet like he has some other mods, like he has a lip on it, a diffuser, side skirts, but he kept it simple. You know, it's not crazy and everything flows together so well. I, I love the car. I think one of the best things about this car is just the fact that it has a true dialed in static setup. Mm -hmm. It looks yeah. incredible. And I know that it's not just the suspension and the wheels and the tires that are pulling everything together, but all of the little details. And I think Matt's car just attacks that idea so perfectly because the car, you know, when you start looking at it, the more details you find, the more you can tell that he's put a lot of thought mm -hmm. and time into these really, really mm -hmm. small details. I mean, the wheels are not crazy out there. You know, when you look at the, the style and the setup, I mean, there's nothing out there that's like, insane right. but it's all dialed into like a, the perfect t to where you look at it and you're like that is just really well done and i think that that's why i like this car so much too because the fitment is i mean just 10 out of 10 the looks 10 out of 10 it's a very clean car it's great to see it in a color that's not blue mm -hmm. i love the simple five spoke i love that he's kept it relatively unmolested but he's got some very nice things here and there that he kind of cleans up throughout you know from front to back i mean i think it's even cool the fact that when you even look at the windows not being fully tinted i think that's a really cool just mm -hmm. way to keep it looking unmolested i mm -hmm. think and just but still having all the right things in the right place right. so i absolutely love the car gels <clears throat> all right now that i have nothing to uh talk about <laughs> um <laughs> got him um it's an absolutely fantastically clean car. I know Steve has showed me this car in the past because Steve is friends with him as well. Um, and yeah, the first time I saw pictures, I'm like, there's no way that thing is stacked. Right. Like, you cannot yeah. drive a car that is that low. And so he's like, no, he drives it a, a lot, actually. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of those builds that, like Alex said, it's not like in your face. It's not, it's not yelling at you like, hey, look at me. It's one of those cars that you look like, oh man, that's pretty clean. And then you look at it some more and you, and you start to realize like all the work that has been done right. to it. Yeah. Uh, the, like the shaved engine bay, or not the shaved engine bay, but like the tucked engine bay, the fuse relocation, the battery uh, relocation. It's just all those little things that tie together and make it a really clean build that looks really nice. Ready? Okay. Yes. Ready to rate it? Yes. One, two, Three. 9.5. All okay. right, so the next vehicle, <laughs> this is going great. Five Honda S2000 on Ooh. some work VSMX's fronts 18 by eights, rears are 18 by nines, plus 13 offset in the rear, 25 in the front, 215, 35 Man King NS2s, airlift, air suspension. 
That's right. what I'm talking about. He trimmed the front arches when he's aired out, stopped bursting all the clips. Reese have been pulled so I can fit my new lips, which are four and a half inch lips. Full spec list, nothing major, but less is more, he said. Mm, okay. So it looks like he's got some uh, front bumper changes, camber arms, things like that, tail boot lid, OEM hard top, but will be removed for show depending on weather. He's got the two piece wheels. He's got some very EDS specific LMs. Yeah, this man, <laughs> he wants you to know that he's got Airlift Performance 3P, which is although nothing fancy, it's just simple and subtle. I love it. It's like the man's selling me the car and it's not even for sale. All right, so let's just start it off. I love these cars. There's nothing not to love about the fucking thing. Like I'm a big dude and I'll still be like Donkey Kong in that and I'll whip it around. I love these yeah. cars. It is interesting seeing 18s. They do look a little large on the car itself, but I think it looks well since it's aired out. Mm -hmm. I think that's what helps it a lot. If it was static, I think they'd be a little bit tougher. Love the color, love the mods. I love the simple stuff. I don't think you need to do much to these cars mm -hmm. uh, in terms of overall modifications. And I do think they're an absolute ton of fun to drive. Looks like he's got it dialed in just a hair so that he can air out and put the lip inside of the mm -hmm. fender because he's just almost there. Yeah, definitely dig it. Coda? Let me see it. Okay. Coda. I honestly wish that either a little the bit of the camber was pulled or the wheels were a little bit wider to get a fender to lip look. Mm -hmm. It's almost It's there. so close. The front needs about, the rear is real damn close. Anyways, I, I'm not a huge fan of the exhaust setup on there. I do think the car is very all, like super clean. It looks great. Uh, he mentioned that not a whole lot done to it, but he thinks that less is more. And I believe that is 100% true with the S2000s, specifically because like when you do start really getting into the S2000s and start adding a lot to them, I think it takes away from the car um, a little bit. So just going with, it looks like he's got the front lip on there. I don't see any like side skirts or anything like that, but the wheels are a really nice choice. Overall, really clean setup. I think the reason why he may have gone with the tuck fitment is because he is on air and when he airs out, he wants to be super low. And with the 18s, I don't know if he went oh. fender to lip, if he'd be able to get that low if he aired out. So really cool. Nice. Let's rate it. You ready? Yeah. On three. One, two, three. 7.5. Um, <coughs> all right, so 92 Toyota MR2. These things are really cool. Besides the fact that they want to kill you like all the time. Uh, I love the styling that he went with it. Um, it looks like, what else we got here? Negative six degrees of camber. BC Racing Extreme Low Coilovers with 24K springs. So yeah, just oh. a little, yeah, thank you, just a it. little bit. Yeah, she ain't gonna That would me. still make me a little nervous. <laughs> Shortened cartridges, BC Racing Sway Bar Links and camber bolts. So he's got a lot of stuff done to it here. He's got um, some engine stuff done. Uh, Gen 3 or Gen 3 S GTE engine, billet CT15 turbo intake, a whole bunch of other stuff. It goes quick because it's a small car. She scoots, bud. She scoots. <laughs> he does limbo with it. That's pretty cool. Um, <laughs> no, I think it's really good. The styling that he went after it with the wheels and everything, I think ties in very well um, with that car. So overall, very nice. Uh, I like this already because you don't see MR2s too often, especially clean yeah. ones. The, the fitment on this is pretty sweet. It looks like it's spot on. I don't know how I feel about these wheels. The, uh, the blitzes? Yeah. Uh, I like the seats in there. This is a super clean setup. I don't think he needs to do anything more to it. Mm -hmm. I think adding anything else to it, whether it would be like canards or a bigger wing or a bigger lip kit or a splitter or anything like that would be too much. I think he pretty much nailed this. In terms of the overall fitment, absolute great, plate's awesome. I like the convex wheels, the double five spoke, I think is a really nice touch. Um, or I'm sorry, just the five spoke there. But otherwise, I think it's solid. Like it's just like a solid MR2. Let's read it. <laughs> Ready? On three. One, two, three. Nine. 8.75. It is a 1968 Ooh, Volvo. Wow. 122S on some ESR SRO3s, <laughs> no beyond all season 215.45s on some IPD lowering springs. Oh man. Dakota, take it away. What the is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is amazing. I would love to see this at a car show. Uh, the interior is super clean on it. You know, it has that classic car look all around with the, the ESRs that look pretty nice on it. I would like to see a different wheel on it. Uh, maybe like something like a three piece polish setup, I think would look really cool on it. And instead of lowering springs, maybe make a custom setup, put it on some air 
Yeah. Killer, it looks like the interior is very, very well taken mm -hmm. care of too, mm -hmm. which I know can be hard in those cars. I love the overall look of the car. I agree with uh, Dakota. I probably would have went with a little bit different of a wheel tire setup. Probably with something a little less sidewall. Um, and I'd probably go with like a BBS style wheel for this kind of car, just cause it's such like an older style, mm -hmm. yeah. like cruiser, low key car. Right. That I just think like some, some classic BBSs would just work so well on it. Overall though, Car is absolutely killer. Yeah, the, the interior of this thing is pretty crazy looking. It looks like you got some like Momo pedal yeah. covers mm -hmm. down there. Um, but as far as like the door panels go, it's very, you know, very 1960s yeah. styling. So it's really cool to see, you know, taking an older car like that and then, you know, kind of throwing a twist at it. It's very mm -hmm. different, it's very unique. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, overall it looks like it was, you know, very well kept. Everything is very, the paint looks nice. The chrome looks fantastic. I probably would have went with a different color than black for the wheels, um, just because they they kind of get lost in yeah. there. Um, so maybe against like the, the white. Yeah, yeah, maybe like Dakota was saying, like a polished look, or maybe even like a like a lighter gold or something, mm -hmm. like a brushed gold. I think would have looked really sharp on there. All right, should we rate it? Yep. All right, on three, ready. One, two, three. Seven. Eight. So that is the last of it for this episode of From the Gallery. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you're looking to have your car added for the next episode, all you have to do is head out to fitmanindustries.com forward slash add. And then once you get your completed link, you're gonna send that over to us via email, shop at fitmentindustries.com with the subject line, review my car. Bonus points if you say please and thank you, maybe a little heart emoji. So I'm Alex from Fitment Industries. I'm Dakota. I'm Gels. And we will see you guys later. Peace.